So this film is just showing us two different types of diagrams, um, ways to represent data. Um, we're going to look at Carroll diagrams, which is this one, and also Venn diagrams. So I'm going to show you how to fill some in and how to read them, and then that will help with the questions. Um, so if we look at this, it is a Carroll diagram. Um, it's a lot like the speed tables that we've done, I suppose. Um, so in this row here, all of the numbers will be in the seven times table. In this row here, they are not. In this column, all of the numbers are even. And in this column, they are not. So one of the tasks we're going to do is fill diagrams in. I used to read the ones to fill. So if I start with the numbers, I've got number eight here. Um, I know it's an even number, so I know it will go in this column but it is not in the eight times table. So the eight is gonna go here and I'm gonna cross it out or circle it just to show that I've used that one. So I've got my eight in. 22, again, is an even number and it is not in the seven times table. 18 is an even number, again, not in the seven times table. 49 is in the seven times table, so it's gonna go in this row and it is an odd number so 49 is going to sit there we've done 49 we've got 100 left 100 is an even number it's going to go in here and it is not in the seven times table and finally I've got 56 56 is in the seven times table and it is an even number so that will go in there so I've all the numbers in that Carroll diagram. So Carroll diagrams are the ones with a grid like this. The second type of diagram we look at is a Venn diagram. So this is a Venn diagram. You can see that with circles. And um, what the circles tell us, they're usually they're, they're in a box and the circles tell us that in this circle here everything inside that circle is in the five times table and everything inside that circle is an odd number. So again, if I go through my numbers, I'm going to place them in the grid. I've got number 10. It is, it is in the five times table. So it's going to go inside this circle. Um, it's not an odd number, so it's going to fit here. Number five, that again is in the five times table. It's got to go in this circle, but it's also an odd number. So it's got to go inside both circles, which puts it right in the centre here. 25, that is in the five times table. Um, but again, that's an odd number, so it's got to be in this circle also. So that's going to go in both. 31 is not in the five times table, so it can't go in that circle. It has to go in this circle, but, but not in the overlap bit, it's just on its own. And eight is, oh, it's not in the five times table, and it's not an odd number, so it can't go in this circle. It can't go in that circle, so we're not going to ignore it. We're going to pop it outside of the box, and that says that, yeah, we know that this, this is in our list of numbers, but it doesn't fit in our Venn diagram, it doesn't fit in any of our circles. So that's our first Venn diagram. The second one I've already filled in for you just to explain, just so we can see a different one. Uh, sometimes you get them with three circles. Um, so this would be the data of 40 children asked what pets they have. So in this circle here is all the children that have a bird at home, a bird as a pet. In this circle here, it's all the children that have a dog. And in this children circle, it's all the children that have a cat. And we can look at the overlap. So if I know, so this number here is just in the bird circle, nothing else. So this is just someone who has one bird. This number here, it's in the bird circle and it's in the dog circle. So that means it's two children have a bird and a dog. This six here is in the cat circle and it's in the dog circle, which means this one here there's six children have a cat at home and they have a dog at home, so it's both of them. In the centre here, there's two. If we look, it's inside the dog circle, it is inside the cat circle, 
it is inside the bird circle. So this one in the centre is in all the circles. That means they've got all three pets. And again, like the other one, if we saw something outside, if we had a number outside the circles, that would mean they have no pets. So hopefully that will help.